Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. You know, if you've ever been on an airplane flight, you know that feeling when the voice comes on the speaker and they announce that the plane is starting to make its descent into the airport. There's a feeling of relief because you've been kind of cramped in those little seats for a long time. There's a sense of expectation. And for some of us, there's a sense of fear because the landing sometimes is the worst part. Sometimes there's turbulence. Sometimes it's just not a smooth landing and and you feel the jarring of the plane pretty hard when it hits the ground. And we have that sense in our own souls as we live through life, or at least I hope we do. Not the sense of fear and anxiety, but the sense of anticipation about life coming to a, a firm conclusion, a godly end a resolution that is good, that there will be some good thing coming about. And you see, the Apostle Peter has described that for us here in the end of Second Peter chapter 3. He has told us, yes, indeed, the plane is coming in for a landing. And as it does, we are to know Jesus is going to return and he is going to make all things right. Now, you can go back in previous episodes of The Morning Mindset and listen to to the words that Peter uses to describe that. It's pretty shocking and pretty amazing. It's going to be greater than any Hollywood special effects. I can guarantee you that. But my friends, we are coming in for a landing of our own here. We're about to land the plane on 2 Peter in the next few days. And I want you to know that Peter wants us to be at rest as we do that. Listen to his words here in 2 Peter 3, verse number 17. This is just two sentences from the end of his letter. He says, You therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and lose your own stability. Oh my goodness, what a loving reminder, what a loving warning Peter is giving us here. He's saying, I have just told you. Now get this, friends. Peter's saying, I have just told you how all of history is going to wrap up. And I've just assured you that as a believer in Jesus Christ, you have nothing to fear. Nothing whatsoever. So let yourself be at peace and take care that you are not carried away with the error of, notice the description he uses here, the error of lawless people. And therefore, lose your own stability. Now, what does he mean by lawless people? Well, that's a phrase Peter would use in his day, similar to the phrase we might use when we say someone is a a loose cannon or a maverick or someone who kind of goes his own way. You see, Peter's trying to point out that when we try to make up our own path and interpret God's word our way rather than the way he interprets it for us through the rest of the scriptures, then we become unstable. And my friends, Peter doesn't want that for us. He wants us to go into the trying times at the end of history, which I believe we are in, with a sense of stability. My friends, we as believers in Christ should be the most stable and steady of all people, no matter what comes into our world. So just stop and let those words sink in as you consider what's going on around you right now. We have crazy viruses that are sweeping the globe right now. We have people panicking. We have hoarding going on in grocery stores. We have all kinds of things. And contrast that with what Peter's saying here. You, believer in Christ, because you have an eternal anchor for your soul, you should be stable. Don't get carried away with the philosophies and the plans and the end time scenarios that people are painting for you. Just rest in the fact that believers in Christ are safe and secure eternally and lead others to that place of security. My friends, join me again tomorrow as we wrap up 2 Peter.